and welcome to the studio. I'm Tori, I am the person behind the videos and vlogs on this channel, um, which you may have seen or you may not have seen. This might be the first time you've met me, in which case, hello. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Um, and I am the creator of um, the Cool Kooky Creatures shop on Etsy and I create all the things that go in the shop. Um, I love to work with textiles, I like to work with all kinds of paint and media but another thing that I like to do is poetry and this month is National Poetry Writing Month or Global Poetry Writing Month, it's known by two names. And one of the exercises that we've been given, which I thought you might be interested in because it's something that can translate into artwork, it's something that can translate into poetry and possibly just a nice little exercise to do because it's very interesting to find out what you come up with in the end in this. Um, the thing that I'm talking about is called a creation of your own personal universe deck. Um, in essence, it is 100 words that describe you from your past, your present, your future, um, things you're interested in, things that have memories or you have memories of. And it, if you could read through those 100 words, you could say, yeah, this is me. So that's um, an exercise that I'm going to be going through and I thought you might like to come along on the journey with me and maybe perhaps create your own personal universe deck, which I think is going to be useful, as I say, in many ways. You can use it in your artwork, which is another thing that I'd like to use because I do like to combine my poetry with artwork because one sparks off the other. So you could write a poem and then create an art piece from it, or you could create an art piece and then write a poem based upon it. And I just think it's a quite nice way to combine these things. The actual process itself uh, was, uh, I think it was devised by a poet called Michael McClure. I think I will double check that, Michael McClure. And I have listened to a lecture of his that he gave back in 1976. Um, really interesting to listen to and I will link um, to that lecture in the notes below in the description. So if you find that an interesting thing stay with me and we'll do it together and I will show you the process of how I get my words and then hopefully you can be able to create yours as well. Creating your own personal universe deck. This idea came from Michael McClure who's a poet and playwright he gave a lecture in 1976, which is still available to listen to now and well worth listening to, where he talked about his word sculptures. The Personal Universe deck is basically your universe taken down into 100 words. The words should represent your past, present and future. They should sound good together. Your good and bad side should be represented equally. Uh, use concrete words, no words ending in ing, li or ease, and reduce words to their most basic grammatical structure. Use specific words, not categories, so beef and not meat, rose and not flower. Steer clear of poetic or philosophical words. Find a space where you won't be interrupted to gather your words. Turn off all your devices so you don't get disrupted. Remove the cat from the room and then use free association to discover your 100 words. They will come easily. They did for me and it kind of flows once you've got your first few down. Of the 100 words, 80 of those words will be relevant to the senses sight, sound, taste, touch and smell. Make sure you have 16 in each category. Your next 20 words will be made up of 10 words of movement and nine words for names, places, times of the day, star signs, totem animals, etc. That leaves one word and this is going to be the most significant abstraction in your life. So examples of this could be thriftiness, love, morality, good and evil, or anything else you think fits you. Remember, past, present and future need to be included. You can gather more than required and then whittle down to the hundred words that you need. You can try fitting each word into categories as they occur to you. 
They should sound good to you. They should all be concrete words with no plurals. And again, it's all down to you and the words that fit for you. So here's a little clip of me listening to the lecture, taking some notes before I start to gather my own words. The lecture is definitely well worth a listen. It's one hour and 20 minutes or thereabouts long, but so nice to listen to Michael McClure explaining how he got to his first 100 words and being much more specific about how the rules work with it. When you have your 100 words, you have to put them into pairs to fit on the cards. Um, this is done in a random way, so I put mine in a random word generator on the internet and then just wrote down the words that came up and lined them up into pairs and they were then transferred onto index cards. The way you do this is that you've got two words per card and it's a bit like a deck of playing cards where you have the queen's head on one side and you flip it over and you've got another queen's head. So it's kind of a little bit like that. So you can see here on the top I'm writing one of the words which is lawnmower as I mentioned. And you do it in bold black letters in capitals just to make it easier for you to just read them when you're just flipping through them. And you can see me now flipping it over and I'm going to write the, the word grass which was part of the pair of this one on the other side. And you do this for each of your word sets, so your word pairs. So in the end you'll have 50 cards with two words on each card. I wanted to create a little piece of artwork for mine, um, so this is what I did. After I wrote my cards out, I then drew a circle in the middle of the card in order to put my artwork, and you'll see that in a moment. I used a circle template in order to do this, but you can do it however you want to do it. You might want to do yours in a square or a heart shape, however you want to do it. Then with each word what I did was I took the letters and then transferred it into the circle trying to make it a little bit random where the letters fall not always putting them in order just kind of fitting them in so there's a T and the H and then I'm doing the U and then after that I think I leave the N and try and fit that in somewhere else I'm putting a D in there and then I'm trying to find a space for an E or an R and I'll fit the E in somewhere else. There goes the E. And I keep on going like that until I fit both words in the circle. So I'm using Thunder and Midnight in order to create my artwork. And what I will do in a future video, I will show you different methods you could use to either create this or just to colour them in or different techniques you could use. It's just an idea, you can do this however you want to. It's your own personal universe deck and this is just how I chose to do mine. I'm just showing it here in case it's something that you fancy doing for yourself. Here's an example of two cards. Um, it's the same words on both cards, except that I started writing thunder first on the first one and midnight first on the second one. And you can see 
how different each one can be. In the next video, I'll show you a little of how I coloured mine in and I will show you uh, parts of my deck and maybe discuss ways that you could have a go at completing your own deck and just giving you a few ideas if you're stumped for some. If you're not, you're off and running. Look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you.